Today we want to talk about the following question. Some soft drinks contain up to 85 ppm oxygen. A. What is this concentration in mole per liter? B. What partial pressure of oxygen above water is needed to obtain 85 ppm oxygen in water at 10 grad Celsius? First, we solve problem A, the concentration in mole per liter. We have to think about the meaning of ppm. One possibility is the following equation. ppm of the component is the fraction of the weight of that component in solution divided by the total mass of the solution multiplied with 10 to the power of 6. Now we take a look on a second possibility to interpret ppm. 1 ppm means 1 part per million, that's 0.0001%. I prefer the second interpretation because the convert into milligram per liter is easier. 1 ppm means 1 milligram per 1 liter solution. So 85 ppm oxygen are 85 milligram oxygen per 1 liter soft drink. To call to mind, here's some help for the convert. The question was how much mole per liter are 85 ppm oxygen. So we have to convert our 85 milligram per liter oxygen into mole per liter. First of all, we have to look what's given. The mass of oxygen is 85 milligram, so 0 0.085 gram. The molar mass of oxygen is 32 gram per mole. We know which formula we can use with those parameters. N is the fraction of mass divided by molar mass. Now we have to fill in the known data and solve this formula. Our result is the amount of substance, 2.66 multiplied with 10 to the power of minus 3 mole. Now we need the concentration of oxygen. So the next step is to divide our amount of substance by 1 liter of solution to get the unit mole per liter. So the result is 2.66 multiplied with 10 to the power of minus 3 mole per liter. Problem B. The partial pressure. To get the partial pressure, we need above water to obtain 85 ppm oxygen in water and 10 quarts Celsius. We can use Henry's law. Solubility of oxygen is Henry constant multiplied with partial pressure. First of all, we have to invert the formula to figure out the partial pressure. Therefore, we divide by Henry constant. The formula sounds now. Partial pressure is solubility of oxygen divided by Henry constant. The next step is to look what's given. The solubility of oxygen is 85 ppm, so the concentration is known from task A. The Henry constant is also given, 1.71 multiplied with 10 to the power of minus 3 mole per liter per atm. Now we can fill the data in the inverted formula and solve it. The result of the partial pressure is 1.56 atm, that is 1.58 bar.